you are trying to reach is currently unavailable. Man, that's a nice Christmas tree. It is beautiful. So I got something a little different today. We're coming in the office. We're going to walk outside here in a bit. But this video is going to be about protecting you guys, hopefully. So I know a bunch of you guys have stepped out to me. I think you've got phone calls. You've been texting have, we've people. Got some people we've been talking to. I'm going to throw some clips in here. But somebody has copied our, I don't know what you say. They stole all of our equipment, our website. I'm going to throw some uh, videos in here, the website and stuff. So they actually took our name on the sign and uh, changed the lettering, phone number, website, and all that stuff. So they've got stuff that we've got for sale out here. We'll walk outside here and take a peek. But they've got this bobcat for sale. So we're going to walk out here in a second and look at this bobcat. But you had somebody reach out to you that bought that bobcat that this guy has advertised yeah, online. Yeah, he was looking and found our number and our picture somewhere else. And he's actually got a legit... He's got an invoice, invoice. with the price that's way too cheap too cheap delivery is way too cheap got the shipping and everything on there so this guy actually reached out to you how did he find he you so just by no they he actually asked for more pictures of the bobcat and that guy did not edit one of the pictures and our number was on the oh boy he didn't so get he didn't get that good so he caught that called me trying to ask if his piece of equipment was here and no right. that's not good so i'm gonna throw clips of that stuff up here we'll go out here and check out uh check out this bobcat that we still have uh, backhoes, all the same stuff. I actually come back from a sale last night, and a lot of the stuff that I just bought is on his website. It's different, different machines, of course, but yeah, this guy has took our sign up here. As you guys see, we've been here at this location since 2016 or 17. Um, I've been in business since 2004, but he's took my name, changed it, and uh, yeah, there's that bobcat sitting right out there. That's kind of funny. Y'all had two people wanting to buy that for 25,000. So. <laughs> They've been calling us. There's a 313. I've got a 35G. There's a B26 back. All this stuff you guys are seeing on his website. He has stole from us in the past. So you guys got to be careful. Um, we've been trying to shut him down. I know Bridget's called. Yeah, cyber. Called cyber police. The I mean, state police. And they basically told her from what I got that they can't do anything until there's a crime. Long which story is, short, until a crime's been committed. Yeah, so. Uh, money is hopefully that has not happened to anybody yet yeah so i'm trying to put this video out here to protect you guys hopefully you guys can go over there i don't know email them call them shut them down or something if you have been scammed by them or had any information please let us know we'll do our but best my theory with this video is you need to do your research before you go buy something for somebody you know you can go on the internet and do a search real quick and find out what's going on you go on this guy's website and it is very legit looking um, he's it's a really got nice website. very nice, probably nicer than ours. I hate to say it, but he's got better he's disclosures. Got, he's got reviews, disclosures, <laughs> shipping prices. It's all out there set in stone. So, um, the one thing though, he's got his address on there. So, you know, you can get on Google Earth, click the satellite image on your map thing. And Comes your phone. to a little house in the middle of Florida. It's got a little house in the middle of nowhere. There's a building on it, but it's not near as big as all these buildings sitting here, and it's not the same color. You can, you can even get a Google Street View and all that stuff. So, um, that right there is throwing a red flag. Um, the other red flag is you start looking at the pictures. What was the backhoe? Backgrounds. The backhoe. There is for so this guy's in I'll say southern Florida. Somewhere, yeah. Yeah. There is snow on the ground, frost on the roof. That doesn't, doesn't happen in, doesn't Florida. Add up in Florida. No. Another thing, if you start looking at the backgrounds, background. we've got hardwood trees. The leaves are off of them. Just not the same type of stuff. So I'm just trying to tell you guys this. You know, stuff doesn't add up. We see this stuff all the time. When I'm buying things. Um, I had this happen on Dozer Wall back. Guy, guy in Michigan had another fake website advertising. And I could tell the dozer was sitting somewhere in the you know dry it wasn't south. Michigan. Yeah, it wasn't Michigan. It was in the middle of winter, muddy. He had a picture of this dozer, blade polish shiny, kind of more like in the desert area. I'm like, where's this dozer? It's on my lot in Michigan. So I actually did a little more research. I find where this dozer got sold at same an auction. Pictures. Same pictures. You know, six months. This guy's trying to sell it and scam people. You know, and the price is too good to be true. Usually, you know, there's it something is. going on with it. Even, like, this guy's listed this stuff just a little bit below our prices, so they kind of look halfway legit, but... Yeah, some of them are way below. Some of them are close. Another good tool is if you can get the serial number, uh, just even a quick Google search for the serial right. number will pop up where that machine's been or if it's ever been for sale somewhere else or so whatever. You search this guy's company name, it's kind of hard to find on the website, to be honest. There's a lot of other DMB equipment. It is. So, you know, that right there is a red flag. You type in our name on the internet, of course, we have a pretty good presence with social media and everything. It's going to pop up everywhere. Any legit business is going to pop up. 
with some sorts of listings and this guy i think where he's getting driving his people is from facebook marketplace yeah he's listing there and then going to his facebook website. facebook marketplace i hate to say it is a complete scam anymore like, i don't hardly list anything on it, there it it's is so sad we don't there's a lot of stuff there's some good people on there don't get me wrong but it used to be good but it's turned into another craigslist so you guys got to be careful i don't even go out and buy this stuff from random people anymore just because this i'm I'll go to my auctions and places I know. It's because if something's wrong it's not with worth it from it. auction, we can get it resolved. And I'm a member of quite a few Facebook groups, John Deere Dozer Facebook groups, parts and stuff like that. And there's people on those things too. There's a lot of good people on there. To get, don't get me wrong, but there's a lot of people on there. They'll have my pictures. Like they had pictures of our log arches up, the yep. old yellow ones that, that we used to have. Yeah, and trying to sell them for maybe seven hundred fifty dollars less. And you got people on there, and a lot it's of just people stealing pictures. And it is so you guys got to be really careful on any of these facebook forums or internet that's all i'm trying to um point out here in this video but it's a scary world you know you're going to pay a little more from somebody like us but you're gonna you know got that safety factor hopefully get what you pay for just do your research before you buy something so that's all we're trying to say here so um i want you guys to go over and blow this guy's phone up email him or whatever yeah, so make him make shut him down if you can you whatever. know we've tried um yeah tried the police avenue a couple different routes and so Hang I'm down. shooting this video on Friday. I'm going to try to post it up here probably tomorrow on Saturday or something. So, but yeah, you guys go over, blow his phone up. I don't care what you do. If somebody's local down there in Florida, I'm throwing his address up here on the screen. Yeah, um, drive by. Drive by and say <laughs> hi to him. See where all his equipment's at. So, show him this video. I don't care. But uh, this is a real CNC equipment. But I know in uh, a couple of those pictures, my shop truck's parked in there. If you look at my mud flaps, it says CNC equipment in his picture. So, he's not. He's been he's pretty slick, but not that slick. So yeah, he's I mean pretty good photo editing. But he picked her on company to mess with because we've got a social media following like <laughs> no other. So hopefully we can get get him shut down. Anyway, quick little couple minute video here. Hopefully you guys can help us out. And I'm just wanting to make every everybody aware of these situations because it is a uh, bad deal nowadays for sure. So um, just be careful what you buy, where you send your money to. I know we've had. Our checking accounts hacked before in the past, and people tried to buy pianos with one of our checks that oh, looked yeah. look legit like our own checks. It's it's scary, so um, for sure, people trying to steal your information and products and all that stuff. So, but just be careful. Just be careful. Yeah, it's a good thing and can be a bad thing. We're just trying to save somebody a lot of money and hopefully get this guy shut down. So, man, that's a nice tree. <laughs> but uh, as always, quick little video. Hopefully. Uh, power youtube will get them shut down and make it happen everybody can have some happy holidays we'll catch you guys next time jeff can i help you yeah can you hear me yes are you still there hello y yes yes yeah. hey i i saw you had uh some equipment for sale i'm actually interested in a uh, a bobcat that you have Okay, which model? What Bobcat? It was a T77? T770? Oh, yes, a 2019 for 25000 Yeah. Can you tell me any uh, yes. history on that machine? Uh, yeah, we have purchased it like two months ago from a private seller from here from Florida. It is in uh, perfect condition without any leaks at all. It's an enclosed cab working AC and heat. High flow model with two speeds. Okay. Um, 1,403 hours and 92 horsepower. 92 horse. That's a good size machine. How's the condition of the tracks and stuff? 85% uh, uh, left from, from the truck. 5%? 85. 85, okay. <clears throat> huh. Um, so what's it take to buy that machine? Excuse me? What's your best price on it? I just could do 25000 Okay, that's the bottom line? Go look at it. Oh, uh, yeah. Go look at it. Oh, uh, go. Go check the machine out. Yeah. What will, be, what, will, what will be your best offer? Oh, I mean, you're not too far off. I'd like to check it out. Can I come, come over or fly down there and, and look at it before I purchase it? Yes, uh, give me five minutes so I can check my schedule and can set up an appointment, okay? Okay, perfect. Thank you. <laughs>
That's pretty much saying that the machine's yeah. not there. I don't think he's going to call me back. <laughs> yeah. So this guy, Jay, tried to call in the beginning of the video. You guys seen that? He just called back here after he's done with the video. But, uh, yeah, he just called you back. Um, I don't want to give up the red flag. He's probably figured something's a little fishy. But I'm going to let you guys... You guys uh, give blow him, him up. Yeah, let's, give him a call. Let's wear him out. I didn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want to give him away right this second. But uh, yeah, he's gonna call you. Oh, if he calls you back in five seconds, I guess we'll be right back. So we will be. He's got to check his schedule. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's a red flag here when uh, somebody wants to do that. So, I mean, they ought to be able to uh, just tell you right then and there that. Yeah. Oh yeah, Thursday. Yeah, whatever. Week. So, another red flag. So be careful, people.